Well, hello everyone. Welcome back, guys. Hope you all are doing well. This is Muhammad Badruddja back again with another lab, and the level of this lab is gonna be expert level. So this is going to be a bit difficult, and it requires in-depth uh, conceptual uh, knowledge. So the lab is all about reflected cross-site scripting with Angular JS sandbox escape and CSP. So we need to escape the sandbox of the Angular JS and also uh content security policy fine so up to now we did not uh, see content security policy in the lab and uh, i did not describe uh, this topic uh, in previous labs so the first thing i would like to describe this content security policy okay let's see the uh, description of the lab first this lab uses content security policy and angular js to solve the lab perform a cross site scripting attack that bypasses content security policy escapes the angular js sandbox and alert document dot cookie fine so i already access the lab here you can say this is our lab and before going to talk about content security policy i would like to show you few things like let's say i am going to search anything cybersec radar and i am going to network tab and just search this so once i search you can see all the endpoints and any script which is loaded with this specific page all are here so if i go to the uh, request this is the main request so here i can see if i uh, if i scroll down you can see there are response headers okay you see here one header which is content security policy and this content security policy describing the default source is self a script source is self a style source is unsafe inline and self so what is this content security policy and why it is recommended to use so content security policy uh, provides an additional layer of security that helps mitigate certain type of attacks right such as cross site scripting attack and data injection attacks by specifying which source of content are allowed to be loaded and executed on a web page so as you can see here the first thing we have within the content security policy uh, the policy is defined such as default source is self so default source means source for any content any content whether it is any script any url uh, any style okay that can only be loaded by uh, itself from its own origin or from its own domain fine so this directive sets the default source for all the content type in this case okay it is set to self so that means that content can only be loaded from the same origin or domain and uh, as the page itself web page itself right so the content from other domains or source will be blocked so if you try to uh, if you try to suppose that render an image but the source of that image is from another uh, server okay that is out of band so it is not going to load that image or that script so in that way it can uh, it can be helpful in term of mitigating the cross site scripting and other injection attacks now the second thing you can see here it is defining script source so script source is also set to self so this directive specifies the allowed sources of java script code that means if it is set to self that means again it is not going to uh, take any script from uh, from outside of the domain or origin okay similarly here you can see style source which is defined as unsafe in line okay and self so here also this directive uh, style source which is unsafe in line and self so this directive defines the allowed sources for the style sheet it includes two sources you can see here the first one is unsafe in line and self so unsafe in line although uh, can be a potential risk okay and self as we already see here that it is going to uh, load or take anything from its own origin okay so this is what the content security policy is there are of course uh, more detail about it i highly recommend you to 
you go and read about the content security policy and how the policies can be defined what are the directives there and uh, what values can be assigned to those directives fine so this is about content security policy uh, next thing what i would like to see here uh, if i go and uh, select this uh, heading tag we can see the cyber segregator is rendered here and there is no script here okay there is no script so we need to escape the angular js sandbox and also the content security policy so content security policy uh, what we are going to do here is uh, let's see if i would like to put here one uh, input tag so input let's say id is equal to a okay and here i'm going to say focus on a so you can see this is loaded and it is focused on this input id a right so once you put the hash uh, uh, at the last of the url and specify any value so within the web page within the html page uh, it is going to uh, look at or focus on this id this is the first thing now we need to uh, find out how this could be uh, this could be exploited because uh, we also see in the content security policy that it's used in the uh, style source it's using unsafe inline so what we can do here is um, we can try ng focus okay and ng focus within ng focus i'm going to call one uh, let's say event and this event is going to be composed path fine then i'm going to uh, chain this with um, order by okay and uh, it is going to be let's say define here let's say x is equal to um, alert and this is going to call document dot cookie okay so this should be this should be enclosed with single code up to here so what it's gonna do the first thing I would like to talk about on focus. So here I'm going to show you. So it's better to see things in action so we can understand more better. Angular JS. Okay, so uh, this is good one also. Okay, so here we can see uh, there are few definitions about ng focus so the first thing it's saying the ng focus directive tells angular js what to do when an html element gets focused okay so whenever any html uh, element is focused this ng focus directive tell the angular js what to do uh, second, it's saying ng focus directive from Angular JS will not override the element's original on focus event, and both will be executed. That means if you are using uh, more than one on focus with ng focus, uh, it's not going to have any difference on uh, on focus attribute. Okay, and these both can be work simultaneously, work together. Okay, so uh, this is actually the more important part now you can see here it's using uh, one input field within the input tag it's uh, defining ng focus and the ng focus attribute having one expression and it's saying uh, count taking a variable and putting this variable and always adding in this variable one and the initial value of this uh, variable count is equal to zero and within the heading uh, tag it's gonna uh, uh, get the result of this variable calling this variable fine so i'm going to try try it uh, let's say you can see this is the input field 
okay and it was zero before but once i click on it that means this field getting focused and once it's getting focused it is counting uh, adding one in the zero second time if i focus it uh, focus on it again you can see one is again added to this so this is how on focus work so you can see this example will increase the value of variable count every time the input field get focused fine so this is the same thing i'm trying to do here okay so uh, and i'm trying to exploit this ng focus event so the composed path here this one okay the composed path method retrieves the events path and the ordered by filter which is this okay this ordered by filter is used with an expression which is this and this expression is going to call alert function uh, with uh, cookie fine and at the last you can see uh, here we are trying to focus on uh, id a which is defined here fine so let's see uh, what i'm going to do here is i'm going to hit enter let's see if that works or not so you can see yeah that works and the alert function is executed okay but the lab is not solved because you see here uh, the exploit server has been given to us which will act as uh, as an attacker controlled server so because the content security policy is trying to get everything from its own origin fine and uh, because we are directly putting this uh, directly putting this value or this payload within the same origin within this so that's why it's executing but lab is not solving because we uh, do not escape csp okay we escape sandbox but we do not escape csp at this moment so for this what i am going to do here is going to the exploit server uh, and we consider this server as attacker controlled server now going to the body and what we want to define here is um, script and here also script and i'm going to say when this script is uh, loaded it is going to uh, send us to this url okay and the url is going to be our lab url okay and this complete with the payload paste it and that's it now what we need to do here is we need to store it and we need to deliver this exploit okay so once we deliver this exploit the lab should be solved let's see no it's not okay let's try to view exploit let's see if alert function is generated or not not generated no now it comes but still lab is not solved why so let's see so this is our url uh, fine so it's already url encoded here fine so maybe we need to because we are uh, specifying this within the script and this is uh, is equal to location so we need to uh, complete it with the uh, semicolon i think that was the mistake let's see store and then deliver to victim view exploit okay the alert is loaded but lab is not solved hmm so here that semi uh, that semicolon does not need it because we are putting that value within the url but once we uh, add that within the script tag and defining it as a location then we must complete it with this 
so do it by without url encoded so this is going to be like this and here this is enclosed with the single quotes okay and uh, this one is going to be a space this is again a space fine and rest of the thing seems okay so ng focus is equal to event dot composed path and ordered by this fine let's store this one and try to deliver this and we see what it's look like view exploit okay so once we view exploit it's just load up to exploit here and nothing happened so let's try to put here plus anywhere we see a space we put plus sign let's now store one more time and deliver exploit to victim and view the exploit okay it's not loading why let's go to exploit server one more time let's see instead of this single code I'm going to define here the value for the single code. Okay, so 27 store deliver and yeah, this time it's solved. Now view exploit and congratulations, the lab is solved. So these are the few things which uh, uh, make your life a bit difficult when you stuck uh, in creating a payload you know the payload is correct but not executing in the way you want so this is the most important part here that once you create the payload and you tested it here directly on that now once you try to uh, publish it by the exploit server it is going to give you uh, a bad time fine so that's it for this video hope you understand the concept of CS uh, csp content security policy we already saw in the previous lab uh, about escaping the sandbox uh, in the angular js but this time we have to escape the sandbox of angular js with uh, content security policy so uh, that's it for this lab and I'm going to see you in the next lab. Bye.